Hey boys and girls, today we will be learning about estimating quotients so we can estimate with division and I'll have it when I find a quotient that is reasonable. And so estimation, just like with addition or subtraction or multiplication, it's so we don't have to do the exact, we can get something that's reasonable. So one thing that I want to focus on with estimation of quotients is using the concept of compatible numbers. And compatible numbers means numbers that get along, they divide nicely. And so think about your multiples and factors. So 40 and 5, they are compatible because there are eight groups of 5. That works nicely. 440 and 4 works nicely because we have 44 and 4. And so then we know by adding in another place value, that's going to get along nicely. Now these numbers, 837, 2, they are not going to get along nicely because 2 only goes into even numbers. And to help you with this, I've got some tricks to help us remember. So my 2 trick, any even number will work. As long as the 1's place is even, 2 is going to work pretty nicely with it because you just cut it in half. 5's trick, any number ending on 5 or 10 or 5 or 0, it's going to work beautifully. It's going to be nice and compatible. Um, and then... The threes trick, it's these two are a little bit more complex, but you get the hang of it. So if the digits add up to a multiple of three, three is divisible by the number. So if I do one plus two plus zero, it's gonna give me three. So this will be divisible by three. If I do eight plus three plus nine, that will give me a total of 20. This will not be divisible because 3 is not divisible by, I mean, 20 is not divisible by 3. It's not a multiple of 3. And 3 plus 4 plus 5, that will give me 12. So this one does work because 3 is a factor of 12, or 12 is a multiple of 3. So now for the 6's trick, it combines the 2's and the 3's trick. It needs to work. So the first one, I can eliminate it right away because it's not an even number. So the next one, so far it's so good because it is an even number, so I know the two's trick will work. Nine plus three plus zero is 12, and that is a uh, multiple of three, so 930 is divisible by six. 656, so far if I check with two's, it's an even number, so that works nicely. So now I do six plus five plus six, that's going to give me 17, which is not divisible by 3. So it doesn't work. So 6 is trick, just combines the 2s and the 3s. Those are just some tricks to help you determine what are compatible numbers. It works nicely, but let's go get started into our problem. So here I want to estimate the quotient of 358 and 6. Well, 358 and 6, mm, they don't sound very nice. While 3 plus uh, 5 plus 8, that's going to give me 16, and that is not a multiple of 3, so I know these aren't compatible numbers. But 358, that's really close to 360. It's only 2 away. And 360 has 36 in it, and then it's got it just bumped up to another place value. And now I know I can divide this pretty easily. I'm going to use my traditional on this one. 3 can, cannot go, or 6 cannot go into 3. All right, let's give myself, myself some steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring them down, and repeat. But I can't go into 36. So 6 times 6 will give me 36. Subtract, 0, bring down, 0. 6 can go into 0, 0 times. And so I subtract that. No remainder, because generally with estimation, we don't want a remainder because we're changing the number. And so we'll do 60 times 6, and that will give us 360. They will match, so that is a pretty reasonable estimation. So I notice I only changed my dividend. I did not change my divisor. I really don't want to change my divisor. I want to make my dividend compare, um, compatible with my divisor. So here we've got Leroy having the, some diamonds to give to his three servants. About how many did each one receive? So pause this. Find which you can make 931 compatible with 3, 2. Okay, hopefully by this point you've checked 900, or 9 plus 3 plus 1 equals 13, which is not compatible with 3, so you can't use that. 
but 931, I can drop that a little bit. 930, that works nicely. I'm going to do the big 7 to check this. So how many groups of, can I pull a group of uh, 100 out of 900? Yeah, absolutely. 100 times 3 is 300. Now I've got a group of 6, 630. Can I pull another group out? Absolutely. Can that give me another group of 300? Can it give me a difference of 330? Can I pull another group of 100 out? Absolutely. It's going to give me 300 here. It's going to give me a difference of 30. And then I can pull a group of 10 out, and that's going to give me 30. That's going to finish me off there. So that's 300 plus 10. 310 times 3. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 1 is 3. And 3 times 3 is 9, so 930. Again, I just changed my dividend. I did not change my divisor. So here we've got a story about the kindergartners planning a revolt against Mr. B. They decided to attack me at these various locations. If there were 583 kindergartners in all, approximately how many could go to each area? So go ahead and estimate your quotient here. I'll be looking for what compatible numbers you used. And I'll see you in the morning.